Hi everyone, this is Don Olszewski and welcome to another episode of How'd You Do That? And today we're going to do a little bow tying. Now this was a little trick that one of my demonstrators actually had named the bunny ear bow. So let's get started. Alright, you need about 10 to 12 inches of ribbon. And the ribbon that we're using today is the seam binding ribbon by Stampin' Up! And this is um, the cherry cobbler one. And I usually just use it right off my spool. But if you like to cut yours down, um, like I said, 10 to 12 inches should do you do just fine. And we're going to make two bunny ears. There's one. And here's the second one. All right. And what we're going to do is cross one of them over, cross them over, and continue around and through the circle that you made. Okay. Now, you'll have to kind of fadoodle with your ribbon a little bit. I like that word, fadoodle. By pulling the bunny ears, pulling the tails, pull the tails, and pull the ears again, pull the tails, pull the tails, pull the ears again. Now, depending on how large you want your ribbon, or excuse me, your bow, is how many times you want to pull and kind of um, fadoodle and finesse your ribbon. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So I'll go ahead and cut it off. And you can trim your tail on the other side as well. And there you go, you have a nice looking bow. And actually, it looks nice usually from either side. Come in closer for you to see that. So there you go. There's a tip for you on bow tying. For more inspiration, visit my blog at dostampinwithdawn.com.